Okay, and then next part is to remove those starter motors cables and there we have the starter motor and there is two cables and that first one opens so that I need to press that area in here and pull pull down this trigger but it could that if we have some screwdriver okay then I have in here a small screwdriver and when I press that part in here I take closer view when I press this area in here and then pull out then this part opens and then there is this next cable set and in here I need a little bit take this square out and move that in there and then there is when I a little bit move that there is then this this nut but I need to open and this nut sides was this, this. Okay, and it is this 12 millimeters. And then I take my tool, and there is the sides was this 12 millimeter. And this part fits then in here. And Carefully in that that place we have to be careful because there are cables. I must be carefully that I don't destroy this wire what goes to this solenoid to this starter and that's I need to take extra tool. Okay and then then when I am I am opening that now in 12 millimeter friends and I open that in here but then I need also second tool what takes contact in here. And it, it support that because that if I move that part very much, there is wire what goes broken. Then I need to purchase new starter. Now this joint, this bolt opens in here, and there is there is special copper bolt. Then I take this cable out and and then I I do markings in my part list okay and then I do markings only one nut because this is special starter motor nut and this must be in right position and I write in here area Area start start motor start motor and then I insert this my, my nut in there and duct tape what keeps this in right position. Now there is start motor and like half is in 
in under this duct tape and then half in here that I can see. And then I can read that paper in my story box. Okay, and there is my story box and I insert it in here. Okay, good. And there is start motor. Okay, and then I do also note that this is start motor cables. Start motor. And then I insert these cables. Actually, sorry, this is my, my note in, in here. This set the start motor. Start motor sign and of course a little bit duct tape. Start motor wires are fine, and then I continue. 